A chaotic street racing takeover from over the weekend injured an Austin police officer and has now resulted in the arrests of two people so far. Videos that have since gone viral show Saturday's takeover on Barton Springs Road and South Lamar Boulevard, where it took almost an hour for APD to fully clear that intersection, but it didn't end there. The car club responsible went to three other locations with the whole thing going on until close to two Sunday morning. Many people got caught up in the situation, including an Austin City Council member. Fox 7 Austin's Amanda Ruiz joins us live from City Hall with more. Amanda. Yes, Mike Rebecca, Council Member Allison Alter told me that she pulled up to the situation right as everything was unfolding. She said she went to call 911 only to be on hold for over 30 minutes before getting to report what she saw. Chaos that began at the intersection of Barton Springs Road and South Lamar Boulevard Saturday night. Austin police say a car club blocked traffic at the popular intersection for nearly 45 minutes, doing donuts, setting off fireworks, pushing back at police, and causing a traffic jam. When it had just started, we could see the fireworks. We could see people who were sitting on the back of um, trucks. We saw people with ski masks. Council member Allison Alter was on her way back home from dinner with her family and saw the entire incident unfold right before her very eyes. Luckily, she was able to get out of there and call 911. So we called 911 and um, waited and waited and waited, waited 28 minutes before they responded. For 28 minutes, Council Member Allison Alter says she heard the automatic hold message. You've reached us in Travis County 911 and please hold on the line and someone will be with you. As the waiting game played out, Alter says she couldn't help herself but think, what if this was a life or death situation? What if we had an heart attack? What if said there was some emergency where people had been needing to access EMS and you couldn't get you couldn't get through? In a statement released by Mayor Kirk Watson, he said this was a significant issue that night. He said the city's 911 call center was flooded and received four times the normal amount of calls that night that led to long waits. This is a direct management failure of city manager Kronk and the police department who have known about a challenge with 911 for more than 18 months. Last week, Austin City Council fired city manager Spencer Kronk following his leadership during the winter storm. Alter says he also failed at finding solutions to fix the 911 call center staffing issues and hopes the new interim city manager Jesus Garza will change that. I really think we have an opportunity now with a new um, city manager to think outside the box and put in place the solutions that should have been put in place a long time ago. And also told me that the 911 wait times have nothing to do with the city's contract negotiations with the Austin Police Department. Reporting outside City Hall, Amanda Ruiz, Fox 7 Austin News.